A tech company has come up with a new way to analyze DNA to solve old crimes, and it's already showing results. We've been doing DNA phenotyping for several years. DNA phenotyping means predicting a person's physical appearance from DNA. So we had uh, about 150 cases that we had done DNA phenotyping on already, and we're actually able to use that same data. Dr. Ellen Graytack at Parabon Nano Labs says the company recently developed new algorithms for those same DNA samples, analyzing them against DNA in a public genealogy database called GEDmatch. Many of the samples were submitted by people researching their ancestry or trying to connect with family members. So it basically compares the DNA of our unknown person to about a million people in the database and tells us, okay, we've got Bob over here who shares this much DNA with your unknown person, and we've got Anne over here who shares a different amount of DNA. And by building the family trees of Bob and Anne, backwards in time to finding where to find where they intersect and then looking forward in time we can figure out who that unknown person was even though the technology was developed a few months ago it's already led to five arrests in cases that were decades old most recently 58 year old john miller was charged with the 1988 rape and murder of eight-year-old april tinsley in indiana it also led police to arrest raymond rowe a wedding DJ who was charged with the 1992 killing of 25-year-old Christy Marac in Pennsylvania. Now Dr. Greytack says her company's services are in high demand. People are really excited about the possibility of solving their case, especially with these old cold cases. You know, these are investigators who, you know, maybe this is like the thing that's been hanging over their head for decades and they just want an answer and and a lot of times we're able to give them those answers offering hope for justice in cases that may have once seemed hopeless for insideedition.com i'm mara matsulbano